hello anyone watching this or greetings and salutations. I'm just currently knitting the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. I forgot what it was called then. Uh, an amazing designer. And I'm up to the bit where you fold the collar and continue on with the yoke. And it can be a bit confusing. There's a few videos on YouTube. Uh, I don't think they're in English, so I thought I would just kind of film me doing it. I didn't actually film the cast on, which I think is confusing for some. I might do another video with one, but you can see here that I've got two cables. So in the instructions in the pattern, it says uh, two sets, whereas a lot of videos only show one, but I used two sets and I'm sorry I use the same size cable so they're the same color, but you can kind of clearly see because I've knit a fair bit, I've, I've knit the 22 centimeters, that I've got one down the bottom and one up the top. So the bottom is the cast on edge. I haven't touched those stitches at all. It's basically like they're on waist yarn, kind of like a provisional cast on, but not. Um, so yeah, at least this gives you a view of what it looks like later on down the track. So first off, I think I still have to do two more rows. So I have to do a right side row and another wrong side row. So I'm just gonna knit through those. The stitch pattern I'm doing here, I think I'm just, yeah, on the right side and we're just doing like a half twisted rib. So I was knitting through the back and purling standard and then when I turn around for the wrong side, I was purling through the back and knitting normal, but that's all in the instructions. Right, so I've got my resting stitches on the bottom there, my working stitches on the top cable and needles and we have to slip the first five and last stitches from the cast on edge, the resting cable down the bottom here, on to waist yarn or a yarn holder. I do this cast on pretty tight, so I really had to kind of get in there with that darning needle. Um, it's probably easier if you have a needle on the end. I just had a stopper, so just went off of the cable. So once you've got those five on waist yarn, I'll pop a stopper back on and tie that up. And then we have to do five on the other side. So I'm going to flip that over. It's a bit easier this way. Grab my waist yarn, pop five stitches onto there, pull that out and just tie that up again. So we've taken 10 stitches off in total, that bottom cast on. Sorry, so a lot of good I am, my phone storage was full and I didn't realize it wasn't recording. So what I've done is I've folded the collar so the right side is on the outside. So we're knitting a right side row. The first five stitches I've knitted normal rib as you would as we were before. And now we're lining them up and we have to knit according to the pattern, but we're knitting through a stitch on both needles. So the back stitch there, the back needle, is from that bottom edge. So we haven't worked any stitches of, on there yet. Because it's a right side row, my knit stitches are going through the back. So as you can see here, I'm going to go through the back of the first stitch and then the back of the cast on edge. I'm gonna like knit it like I normally would. And it can be a bit tight at first. And I'm just going to slip both those stitches off the needle and then we're doing a pearl. So we're going through the back stitch first, as you would just a pearl, but we're just not pearling it yet. Going through the front stitch can be a bit awkward at first and the camera was making it difficult, sorry. And uh, then just pearling that and popping that off the needles. So we just make our way along doing this, knitting through the back, purling, just making sure you're doing two stitches each time. Make sure that you're not slipping extra stitches off accidentally because it can be a bit fiddly. Um, and then stop when you get five stitches from the end. So you'll have no more stitches left on the back needle, but you'll have five left on the front. Right, so I'm just up to the last stitch, which was a pearl. So I'm purling these two stitches together and you can see we've closed up this collar. We've got five stitches left and we just knit them in pattern. So knitting through the back and then purling and I think slipping that last stitch. 
this is what it looks like. So this is the collar part done. We've got five stitches either side that are on waist yarn that match up with the five that we've just knit in pattern. So it's like a little opening that's going to come around the front and that's where the zipper will be going. So hopefully that was easy enough to follow along. And now we go on with the instructions in the pattern for the yoke.